Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsuits.com and today we are here at the Micromax event and Micromax has made several new announcements including this device which we have with us. So Micromax 3.0 is announced and they have a different strategy, 15 new devices and one of that device which is a new device is this one which we have right now in front of the camera and this is called the Micromax Canvas 6 Pro. They do have Canvas 6 as well but right now this one will be sold online. This one has got 4GB of RAM compared to 3GB of RAM which you will get on Canvas 6. In terms of the look and feel, the Canvas 6 is definitely better than this one which has got a metallic unibody design and it feels that one feels a lot more premium compared to this one. This one has a plastic back cover which feels rubberized in nature in terms of the overall grip. It is definitely grippy and you can hold this one easily in one hand and it won't slip out of your hand. In terms of the build quality and design, this one is good in terms of the build quality but in terms of the design, Canvas 6 is definitely better. Both of these devices have been announced as of now. So you have to basically pre-book to buy either the Canvas 6 or the 6 Pro and that you have to do. You have to go to the source.micromaxinfo.com to basically pre-book a device for you. That's how you can actually buy it. As far as pricing goes, the Canvas 6 Pro and Canvas 6 both have been announced for a price of 1399. That is approximately 14,000 14, rupees you will have to pay for these two phones. As far as differences are concerned, the Canvas 6 Pro which we have right now in front of you has got 4GB of RAM compared to the 3GB RAM on Canvas 6 and this one also have a difference in the camera. This one has a lower camera of 5 megapixel at the front compared to the 8 megapixel camera which we have on the Canvas 6 and we have 13 megapixel camera at the back side which remains the same on both the Canvas 6 as well as the Canvas 6 Pro. Talking about the overall look and feel, the device looks kind of regular in terms of the look and feel, does not look very special or very different especially the Canvas 6 Pro. However, it is a Canvas 6 Pro model and we were thinking that the Pro model would be better but this is only better in terms of the RAM not in terms of the build quality and design. But again, the build quality is good. That is something I would like to point out. We have the power and sleep key over there, the volume rocker button over there. Both of the buttons are plastic buttons and we have the gray black variant of this phone. Here we have 13 megapixel camera at the back, which is an auto focus camera and it can record high definition video. And we are not sure whether it can actually record 4K resolution video. We will confirm that later. We have got LED flash over there and Micromax new logo. This is the new Micromax logo, which you will see from now on on their website as well as on their new products. We have got the 3.5 mm jack, a second microphone for noise cancellation at the top. At the bottom, you have got a micro USB port for data syncing and charging and a primary microphone hole over there. And on the front, you can see that we have a 2.5D curved glass and hopefully this glass has Corning Gorilla glass protection, but we cannot confirm that as of now. On the front, we have got a 5 megapixel fixed focus camera, proximity and embed light sensors. Let's talk about storage now. On the storage front, there is a disappointment on the Canvas 6 Pro because the Canvas 6 Pro, which comes for 14,000 rupees, has 16 GB of internal storage compared to 32 GB of internal storage, which you will get on Canvas 6. So this device has 16 GB of internal storage. The display size, however, is same. And both of the devices, this one as well as the Canvas 6, will have 5.5 inch full high definition display. So this is a full HD display and the display clarity seems to be good overall. And viewing angles of the display are also looking nice. As of now, we are using the phone in outdoor conditions and you can see that the visibility of the display is not that much affected. You can easily see the display from different viewing angles and the color protection of the display seems to be good as well. Let's take a look over the internal settings and we will find out the current configuration of the phone. First of all, I would like to say that the UI is very much stripped down to almost talk Android. Yes, there are certain level of customization on this device as far as UI is concerned, but still you are getting Android Lollipop 5.1, which is a kind of a disappointment, but that's how it is. You won't get Marshmallow so easily on this device, but as per the information which we have got, they will push Marshmallow later on. 16 GB of internal storage is there on the phone and out of that, 9.23 GB is available to the user. And when it comes to other things like application, I would like to show you the application scenario. Again, this device has got 4 GB of RAM, which is definitely better compared to Canvas 6. And out of 4 GB of RAM, 3.1 GB of RAM is free. That means it is going to be good in terms of the overall gaming performance, I believe, because it has the, got the latest MediaTek processor as well, which is a good processor overall. An octa-core CPU is there, which is clocked at 2 GHz. And this is the MediaTek Helio chipset, which we have on the phone, which is definitely good for a device like this, which has a big display. The display clarity is good. And performance-wise, it should be good. And we will test that later. These are the things which we have on the hardware on the camera front and the build quality. Let's take a look over the camera performance of this phone and I would like to show you the application drawer. Here we have the application drawer and I would like to show you that 
again something is different here that is the bigger icon so you get bigger icons on this device as far as application drawer is concerned let me launch the camera and show you the performance of the same this is how the camera interface looks like and as you can see it has got the same mediatek camera interface which we have seen on other mediatek phones as well we have option for the hdr mode you have the option to toggle to the camera you have the option to take the photos in macro mode as well all these things you can actually do on this device let me show you some of the photo samples which we have taken from the rear as well as from the front camera so this macro shot has been just taken right now and this looks like to be good in terms of the colors as well as in terms of the details overall which you will get when you take a macro shot this is kind of a shot in which i have taken this cylinder in low light situation but still the clarity is not missing i can read the text which is definitely good so camera performance from the rear is good if not great and this is a zoom shot which we have taken and this has came out to be good i would say in terms of the clarity as well as in terms of colors and we have taken this as a normal shot as well so this is how it has been taken in a normal level and this is how i have taken this shot in a zoom level and still it is clear i would say talking about some of the photos which we have taken from this device this is one more photo which i have taken and this has also came out to be good overall in terms of details i was expecting the colors i was expecting so daylight shots are coming out to be good and when you take a photo in a kind of a scenario in which you are against light this is how the selfies are going to look like the front camera is not so impressive i would say but still it is okay for a device like this which has this much of price uh, which you have to pay for this phone so this is all we have as far as the quick hands on overview of the new canon 6 pro one thing which i can say that this device is not looking great in terms of the build quality this is the first impression i have and in terms of connectivity there is no compromise however we have got two sim card slots over there as you can see this is the nano sim slot this is the micro sim slot and we have a dedicated micro sd card slot as well and the battery on this device is a 3000 mah battery again not too big battery for a device like this it should have been a bigger battery i would say but they have given only 3000 mah battery and here we have the loudspeaker the overall impressions of mine on this particular device i would say are going to be average the device seems to be good in terms of the display the device seems to be good in terms of the hardware but in terms of the build quality and design the Canon 6 Pro does not impress me that is something i would like to say and camera performance is again good if not great this is all i have in case you have any queries and questions for this device please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off Thank you.